Welcome to Making to Make. Today, I'm going to build this desk. For the legs of the desk, I'll be using some leftover 3 quarter inch ply that I had previously cut into 5 inch strips for an older project. The first step in making these legs will be to cut down these 5 inch strips into two pieces. One at 34 inches, and the second at 19 inches. Now that I have these two pieces cut, I overlap them and clamp them into the shape of an L. I then mark the overlapping sections. These sections will be routed away to half the thickness of the material. In this case, 3 eighths of an inch. These routed sections, also called rabbits, allow both pieces to overlap making a very strong joint once wood glue is added. Using the rabbits, I clamp together the leg assembly into the L shape. I add the third piece making up the hypotenuse of the triangle leg. This allows me to again mark the overlapping sections which will later be routed out in the same way as before, as well as the pieces that need to be cut off of each end. In an attempt to avoid math, sorry mom, I simply adjust my miter saw until it matches the cut line I marked from the step before. This angle should be repeated on the other side of the board. Once these angles are cut, I repeat the same process as before and route up to the line of the overlapping sections on all three pieces. Once all the routing is done, I have these three pieces, two with rabbits on the same side, and the third with one rabbit on each side. I can now take these pieces and dry fit them together to A, test the rabbits, and B, admire my handiwork. I mean, come on, that's pretty good. But now, I have to repeat that whole process and make another one or I just throw it in from off camera. Now that's the easy way to do it. While the glue is drying from the legs, I switch my attention to the desktop and the shelf. For this, I'm using some half inch construction grade plywood I had on hand. The end of this plywood is very rough and even has some nails in it. So I simply mark the length I need to cut off, set up a straight edge, and cut it. Now, I repeat that same process, but cut the desktop, which for me is 19 inches. Because I want a thicker desktop than half an inch, I cut two 19 inch pieces to layer them on top of each other. The next pieces I cut are two strips at 8 inches. These will be layered on top of each other just like the desktop to create a thicker shelf. When you glue these pieces together, be sure to use plenty of glue and to spread the glue across the entire surface of your piece. I lost the footage of spreading the glue and clamping the pieces together, but a good sign you used enough glue is having the glue squeeze out of the ends of your workpiece. For easy cleanup, I wipe the squeeze out off now while it's still wet. And be sure to use plenty of clamps and downward pressure to ensure a good bond across the whole workpiece. As you can see here with the shelf piece, once this dries you will end up with a piece about an inch thick. 
Now that I have the desktop glued up, I will route out a slot, also called a dado, in the legs for the desktop to rest in. You want this dado to be the same thickness as your desktop. For me, this dado will start at 27 inches from the bottom, putting the desktop at about 28 inches. To cut this dado, I set up guides on either side. This prevents me from cutting this dado too thick. Once I cut these dados, I dry fit it all together to get a preview of how this desk should look. I'm actually pretty satisfied with how this is turning out. To finish the legs, I started the tedious process of priming and painting them white. After painting the legs, I switched my attention to painting the desktop and the shelf. To do this, I enlisted the help from the best cameraman I know. You help me? Yeah, <laughs> good job. He's also the cutest one I know. Sorry, Ale. Thank you. Can I have it back now? Yeah. Thank you. Once everything is painted, this is what I'm left with. I did add this one piece off camera. This is meant to connect the legs down by the base for better stability. Now, all that's left is to assemble the desk. Which I made harder on myself than it should have been. After a couple failures, I finally found a good way to do it, and this is what I ended up with. Thank you for watching the video this far. If you liked it, please let me know, and keep an eye out for the next project.